Also developing dash cam video showing the exact moment a local highway patrol trooper was dragged dozens of feet during a traffic stop. It's an update to a story we first brought you yesterday as breaking news and now in just hours the man investigators say was behind the wheel at the time is set to face a judge. Ezzy Castro joins us from the Orange County Jail where that suspect is being held right now and Ezzy he is not the only one facing charges. No, he's not, Kirsten. As a matter of fact, two other people will also be facing charges, but the person that was arrested is only 19 years old, and he is here at the jail after FHP says that trooper could have been killed. And this is attempted murder on a law enforcement officer. Trooper Victor Rivera suffering from scrapes and bruises, but otherwise okay, after he was seen dragged by this car early Thursday morning. Troopers say he was trying to stop the car from speeding, but things quickly turned dangerous. Law enforcement out there is to get these drivers to drive within the speed limit because this roads are designed for a certain speed limit. When you exceed that, you put other drivers, other pedestrians, bicyclists at risk. The driver of the Corolla was forced to stop at the train tracks on Colonial Drive downtown, and that's when he got out and ran away. He then comes back to the car, and that's when troopers say the passenger, 19-year-old Christopher Lewis, grabbed the wheel and dragged both the trooper and the suspect. A juvenile was also in the back seat. When you see a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of these videos of this stuff, your adrenaline's pumping. You want to catch the bad guy. But at some point, our lives are at risk, and so the trooper did disengage. The suspects ended up taking off, but it did not take long for troopers to track them down. Do you really want these people on the road? If they're willing to take this risk and injure a law enforcement officer, what else are they going to do to the public? Now, Trooper Rivera was taken to the hospital yesterday to be checked out, but he is doing okay this morning. As for Lewis, he is expected to see a judge very soon. And as far as the other two suspects, they are charged, but they are cooperating with investigators. Live outside the Orange County Jail, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.